Our faces and bodies can show others how we are feeling. Sometimes we can tell how someone feels just by watching that person and looking at their face or body. So I'm going to tell you a story in parts. Pretend the story is about you. After each part of the story, I will pause so you can use your faces and bodies to show how you would feel. Please be sure to not touch or bump anyone. Can you guys do that, teachers? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, here's my story. It's your birthday and you are having a party today. You are going to wear your favorite clothes and have your most favorite dessert. This morning before the party, you got a toy you really wanted. Everyone you like will be coming soon. Now, without talking, use your face and body to show how you feel. All right, we're gonna keep going. The party is very noisy. Children are laughing and talking and running around. A piece on your new toy gets broken. Without talking, use your face and body to show how you feel now. At last, it's time for dessert. You got the very first piece, but it fell on the floor. Some got on your favorite clothes and made a mess. Your pet dog starts eating your favorite dessert. Some of the children point and laugh. Without talking, use your face and body to show how you feel now. It's time for everyone to leave now. The friend who broke your toy says, I am so sorry I broke your toy. I didn't mean to. All your friends tell you what a great time they had at your party. Without talking, you use your face and body to show how you feel. Good. So we all have many of the same feelings, though sometimes we don't show them the same way. We all don't feel the same way in the same situations either. So watching how people show their feelings without words can help us to know each other better and to help us be better friends. So make sure that you're paying attention to your friends' feelings and how they show them with their face and their bodies. 